All right, today I want to talk about thumb fit. Here I have three interchangeable thumbs, starting from the oldest and loosest fit I have to the most recent and tightest fit I have. I'm going to start with the goal, and that is this thumb. You'll see here I have one piece of tape on the front, but other than that, that is it. Now, when I put my thumb in this, you'll see there's a decent amount of pressure needed to get that onto my thumb. Also, when I twist it, you'll see that it pulls my skin no matter which way I go. There's no slack, there's no slop, there's no give. It's just on my thumb. When I pull it off with my hand completely relaxed, you can hear the air trying to escape and you can see, you can even hear when I push it on, and sometimes you'll get that pop right there. Now that is pretty dang close to as tight as you can get. I use a little bit of this on the back of my thumb. This is just a felt, super flexible, really thin. That way I don't get any irritation on the back of my thumb in the tightest fit I can, consistent release out of the ball. So when I put my thumb in this and I flex my thumb, there's no getting that off of my hand. So if somebody else were to pull on this, you wouldn't be able to get that off, okay? Now, this is kind of a middle of the road thumb. I have one piece on the back and some way down on the bottom for the tip of my thumb. Now when I put this one in, you'll notice it's not really any pressure at all, just teeny tiny bit. When I spin it, you can see the thumb slug will move before my skin does to a certain point. And then you see, I get that. If I flex on this one and pull, you can get it off and you can see how how hard I'm squeezing and it comes off. This is the oldest one I have. Now, it has no tape in it at all. When I put my thumb in, this thing just slides right on and off. It doesn't even look like it's fit for my thumb. But if you look inside, you'll see it is contoured to my thumb. And when I put my thumb in, there's no gaps. And you still get a decent fit. However, when we're looking at this, you can see this can spin all the way around my thumb. I feel a little bit of tension on my skin, but I could do this without any discomfort. It doesn't bother me at all. If I were to grip this one, I, I've got no chance of keeping this on. I can still make that pop sound. Um, to kind of sh try and show, or at least visualize, I have three pieces of tape here. I'm gonna stack these up. And you're gonna be able to see that I can still go in without any problem at all. I'm gonna try the same trick with the yellow one here. I'm positive I can't get three. I'm gonna put two back to back. Put them in. And I can get that one in. And now you can see with those two pieces of tape, I start not being able to do any twisting without it pulling my the skin of my thumb with it. So that's closer to the blue one. And you can hear I get that pressure as I try and pull it off, that tension. Same thing with the blue one. I don't even know if I can get one piece in. I can, but that's a lot of pressure. That's probably too much, even though I could probably get away with it. So for a lot of people, this type of fit right here would seem way too tight. It would scare them, and you're gonna feel like the ball's never gonna come off your hand. It's gonna hang on to you. You're gonna go flying down the lane. And I completely understand that mentality. That's why it took me three iterations to get to this type. This was the first one I had because that's as tight as I felt comfortable with at the time. The better and better I got or more comfortable I got with that feeling. Um, I moved to this one, you know, started messing around with tape and got to a point where I could add tape. And then eventually you get to the point where you feel comfortable enough where it takes too much tape for this to be a good thumb. Sometimes you can go back to this. It's nice to have more than one if your fingers swell a lot or in the summer when it gets hot. Eventually I got to this one, and you can see, like I said, how tight it is, and now I can't go more than one piece of tape, and it took me a while to kind of work through that progression to get to here. This type of thumb fit, this system, isn't something that you get overnight. You're gonna have to get used to the ball holding onto you and not the other way around. So, to display this, we're gonna take a ball here. I'm gonna toss it in real quick. And then I'm gonna show you now, if I'm completely relaxed, 
I can not pick up the ball, but you still see the tension that it causes on my thumb. If I flex my thumb, I don't know if I'm showing it, flex my thumb, I can pick that ball all the way up, no problem. The, uh, the way the ball holds on to you is once you get a thumb this snug, fingers first, and then as I'm going in, you can kind of see this knuckle on my thumb here starts pushing on the back there, and now I'm locked in. Now, with no grip pressure, no squeezing at all, this ball is picked up. I don't have to do any type of gripping. If I want this ball off of my hand, I have to pull, and like I said, you can hear that squeak. That's the air from the vacuum created. Similar thing here is if I pick it up, no grip pressure, no squeezing, I have to shake that ball to get it off my hand. So obviously what you're thinking here is how do you get it off your hand comfortably, smoothly, at the release each time without having to shake or go flying down the lane. And really the reality comes down to is you don't want to squeeze. Your goal is to have a completely relaxed swing. And the only way this ball comes off is not from you letting go of the ball. It's from the inertia of a 15 pound ball rolling off of your hand. And you'll see how much easier it is in the release position for this thumb to go in and out of this hole. Almost to the point where this right here is now too loose. I could add tape here and this just kind of comes, your thumb comes out and you flip the ball. So I just kind of wanted to show what it looks like, how tight you can get fit that would scare you to hold on or you think there's no way you're going to be able to come out of the ball. You don't want to measure it this way with your hand on top because it's not how you throw the ball. You want to think about it with your hand underneath and you just roll this off your hand. And you can see fingers in the ball that I can just kind of push that just like that without any problem to the point where it feels far looser now than it ever did trying to get out like that. All right, so there you go. That's type of idea of how tight you want your thumb to be, or at least the goal, a way to work towards it. Use some tape, try and get that fit as tight as you can because a lot of people coming in new to the idea of bowling, trying to get this type of thumb fit, they would see a hole like this their thumb in there and they're gonna think you know that's a pretty tight fit like it doesn't fall off my hand this isn't just a regular circle or house ball realistically just way too loose this thing I would never be able to use this without having to apply some pressure when I throw the ball creating me to squeeze and just getting an inconsistent release because I'm gonna have to time when I let go of the ball to release it each time instead of the other way around where I'm letting inertia do the timing every single time so hopefully that helps everybody